Ready to plan your next cycle route but don't know where to start? Here are Cycling UK's top tips to help you get the most out of route planning. Inspiration. A good place to start is looking for inspiration for where you'd like to ride. Perhaps you've seen some gorgeous gravel riding in the New Forest, you set a goal to ride some Peak District road climbs, or you'd like to take on your first bikepacking trip. Inspiration doesn't have to be too grand either. Perhaps you'd like to plan some more accessible adventures exploring your local area. No matter where you'd like to ride, the fundamentals of route planning are the same. Choose a route, plan your own or adapt. When starting to make your route, you can either start from scratch and come up with something of your own or choose to follow an established route, just like our new Cornwall-based West Kerno Way. There's a third option too. You can take existing routes and adapt them to make them more suitable for you. For example, changing the start and finishing points or selecting a portion of a longer route to make it into a day ride. For less confident route planners, using pre-made routes is a good starting point as you shouldn't come across any surprises when it comes to terrain type or access issues, especially if you're riding somewhere you're not familiar with. Plus, you can usually find loads of practical information from other riders on travel, where to eat and stay, such as on the Cycling UK's West Kerno Way Facebook group. Key metrics for planning. There are a few key numbers that you need to keep in mind when planning your route. Distance, climbing and duration. Remember that 50 kilometres in Norfolk is not the same as 50 kilometres in Cornwall. Both the amount of climbing and the gradients will have a big impact on both how long it takes and how tiring it is. While it's possible to work this out with paper maps for yourself, using digital route planners such as Commute, Strava or Ride with GPS can make route planning a whole lot easier. You'll also need to bear in mind the kind of terrain that you'd like to ride. Opt for bridleways, byways and forest roads if you'd rather take things off-road, but remember that it'll probably take a little longer than on tarmac. How will you navigate? How you'll navigate along your route will have some bearing on what kind of route you might be best following. If you want to keep things super easy, then following a way-marked national cycle route is a good idea. For more original routes, you can either use a paper map or opt for on-the-go digital navigation on your phone or a cycling computer. Start, finish points and emergency exits. If you're not riding from home, then have a think about where you'd like to start and finish. It could be a train station for environmentally friendly travel, or finishing somewhere you could get a good meal. While they're much less common than you might think, accidents do happen, so it's a good idea to bear in mind where your emergency exit points are along your route, especially if you're heading somewhere more remote. This could be a local train station or a way to get to a nearby main road for assistance. Points of interest. Unless you've got a saddlebag packed full of sandwiches and your own coffee brewing kit, you're likely to want to stop along your route to refuel. Check out Cycling UK's cyclist welcome pages for cycling friendly places you can stop along your route. Make sure you think about this in the planning stages, including one or more cafe or shop options and checking opening times. Besides food and drink, the best cycle routes feature a number of points of interest, whether that's historical sites, expansive viewpoints, swim spots or bird hides. Plan to suit what you enjoy. Ready to plan your next adventure? Explore Kent, Norfolk or Cornwall with our bikepacking and day routes.